Back we are with more Ico for you. Brought to you by a long list of companies you don't care about. Oops. Run! Run! Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here because I don't have the patience to kill all of them. Just keep running! Run so far and away. Run all night and day. Enough a flock of seagulls references. Okay. She can just use the stairs, you know. She's not fancy enough to just jump off the side like us. This is another one of those places where you can die from heights if you're not careful. But really, it's just jumping over to that window, so. Mostly I screwed up because I jumped at the wrong time. What the heck is with that zoom out? Anyways. Yeah, a few, or last time I had a lot of lag problems, as I said before. Um, I actually couldn't see which way I was swinging, and I jumped backwards when I was swinging. So I ended up dying from falling damage. So, yeah, pain in the butt. Okay, from here we just gotta use this box. And move it over this way. Out the window. I hate you, box. You're going out the window. I'm selling you in a garage sale. I hate you. And now you already can climb up here. Can I drop her? No. I was I was always curious about that. I never pressed the X button to let go, so you know. I just wanted to test to make sure that I couldn't, you know, drop her off cliffs. That would be not so good if I accidentally tapped the X button. Oops, I dropped her game over. Dang it. Yeah, that would be a really smart idea. Sorry about that. this room, we got this big waterfall. It's not exactly big from this view, but it goes all the way down there. So, yeah. Waterfall. Big. You small. Uh, climb this ladder. Good. Good, we have ladders to climb. We've made an amazing discovery. There's ladders here. Here, there'd be ladders. So there's nothing to do up here besides jump over onto this rope. So we're going to do exactly that. And you know what? Why not? We're just going to jump across onto here. We have to get up there, but first we got to get Yorda. So, so begins making this room twice as long. Yeah, you have to find a way for both you to get to the end of the room and for Yorda to get to the end of the room. So we just drop that block down there, and, um, yeah, dropping blocks everywhere. Right over there, we need another block over there. You know, just throw blocks randomly, and we'll see how it goes. There aren't really any block puzzles in this game. It's pretty straightforward, just atmospheric exploration kind of stuff. And that's kind of why I like the game. Why are you going up there? You should be climbing down. Down. Okay, good. I don't see why you didn't just climb down first, but okay. So, do I go up this way or that way? I don't know. My brain isn't working. On. Yeah, she's pretty clumsy. All right. 
Um, there's a save point up there, but uh, we don't really need it that badly right now, so we're just going to go on ahead. Whoops. We're going to go on ahead this way. I'm pretty sure no enemies attack you in this area, so we shouldn't have a problem. Alright, I gotta help her up here. Or do we? Yeah, probably. She could probably get up on her own, but... That's alright. We're nice. We'll help her out. Just call her when we get up to the end of this room. And now, let's play our new game show. How long will it take you to get up here? Start your timers now. We need to start up some theme music. She probably won't be running any endurance races or any of those obstacle courses anytime soon. Good. Good. Amazing goodness. Okay, so this is actually the room where we're going to get a secret weapon. I believe there's two secret weapons in the game, they're both in the exact same place, but you get a different one depending on if it's your first playthrough or your second playthrough. So right down here, if we can just get her down here. We can't do it yet, but I can just get this one thing started, so I'm gonna do this. It makes this big basket jar block thing come out of the ground and there's it's hollow like there's an opening in the top of it so I don't know this puzzle makes absolutely no sense but I thought it was kind of funny you'll see what I mean soon I had to look it up online because it's pretty ridiculous you wouldn't exactly think to do what you're expected to do here the first time. So yeah, there's a fake wall there. That's fairly noticeable, so you can push that out of the way so that you can get into there. And um, you make that big hollow brick container thing. And that's pretty much where all common sense just drops loose and you do whatever the heck you feel like doing. There we go. Whoops. These must be some pretty powerful steel pipes if they can support his weight. I mean, do they have any other use aside from just to be here so we can climb on them? Are they water pumps? They don't look like they would be. And again, I'm not exactly a water pump guy, so... You can prove me wrong! All you water pump guys watching me play video games on the internet out there, you know... <laughs> Can you see the excitement in this game? I'll make up for the lack of excitement with a more exciting game next time. Or, well, that's partially true. Yeah, it's partially true. 
this game is more just relaxing, atmospheric, that sort of thing. So we push that block over the waterfall, and um, that'll be become important in the next video. We don't exactly have enough time right now, but come next video, we shall be using that very block. Exciting, huh? Okay, we're just about out of time, but I'll save this for next time. Next time we're going to get that secret item, and you can enjoy the complete nonsensicalness that it shall be having ensue. Blah, 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 see you next time. Goodbye.